Hello, if you are watching this, you might be wondering why did you just so? First thing first, we must start saying that some people believe that language was a gift from God. Others argue that language is just a product of many years of natural selection. Anyway, in some point of time, humans developed the ability to speak. But how exactly they did this? Well, as we all know, Sounds are part of the daily life of most persons. We are surrounded by sounds, and we can even recognize a lot of things because of the sounds that they produce. This is the key to understand the thing done hypothesis. An hypothesis centers in onomatopoeia, which establishes that people start to name objects and actions and phenomena after a recognizable sound which was part of their daily life. Now, I'm going to explain some examples of what my partner just established. As you saw in the video, there were many sounds with a corresponding onomatopoeia. For example, the s that means sleep, the ring that represents a telephone, the boom that is a bomb, clap clap that is clapping, and so on and so forth. But not only that, this hypothesis also considers animal sounds, such as oink oink, which means a pig, or meow that represent a cat. Finally, even the name of this hypothesis could be considered as an uh, onomatopoeia for bell. The hypothesis of the ding dong shares some similarities with the bow wow hypothesis if we are talking about onomatopoeia. The difference is that the bow wow hypothesis established that language was formed by the imitation of animal sounds. Because of this, it's obvious that the ding dong hypothesis is superior in which refers to the origins of language, because it considers all the sound that surrounds, unlike the bow wow which only considers animal sounds without mentioning the fact that the hypothesis is flawless, because the onomatopoeia for animal differs in many countries. For example, in Russia, a pig doesn't sound like oink oink, it sounds like hiro hiro because the idea is that one's language determines how one interprets a sound, and because of the fact that we have many languages, it's impossible to prove that the human language came from animals. Some of the arguments against the ding hypothesis are that it is 
unclear when we want to provide an onomatopoeia for silent objects, such as a rock, a chair, a table, a tree, and so on and so forth. Also, the ding dong hypothesis does not supply words for grammar or abstract elements in the English language. For example, hate, love, anger, justice, and that are just a few of many other concepts. Finally, the last argument against this hypothesis is that onomatopoeias are a very small part of linguistics and varies greatly from language to language, in similar case to the Bowo hypothesis. Because of all these reasons, the Dingdon hypothesis is considered a limited hypothesis. <laughs> Ouch, etc. And, and these expressions, such as onomatopoeias, are also a very, mo a very small part of language, which, which was the main reason of why this is not considered a complete hypothesis of how language was formed. Thank you very much for watching.